Go to the Products section and find Platform. Before you create a product, check whether you have added the HSN code of the product. Go to the Taxation section. Search the HSN code. This HSN code is for women's dress, and you can see, it doesn't exist. Let's add the 8-digit HSN code. Since this is for taxation purpose, add the slab in the subsequent tax percent. The second thing that you need to ensure is, check if the product you intend to create already exists. You can create four types of products. Since we are creating a top for women, we'll choose standard. Choose the department, in this case, fashion. Choose a category, in this case, tunics. Write the name of the product. Choose the brand. Enter the item code of the product. Use the media section to add images of the product. Use the media uploader to upload files from your local computer. Similarly, you can add more images if required. You may crop an image as per your requirement. Similarly, you can add more images if required. You can also upload media from the URL on which it is hosted. Rearrange the images as per your requirement. Apart from images, you can upload videos, link YouTube video, or add a 3D model. Add a short description of the product. Add a brief description of the product. For creating product with no size or single size, keep this disabled. Here, we are creating a tunic with multiple sizes. Let's add a small size. Add the applicable product identifiers. Since we will be using the EAN number, we'll delete the rest. Add the MRP and the selling price. Enter the dimensions of the packaging material used for shipping the product. Enter the weight of the shipment in grams. Similarly, add more sizes. Let's choose the HSN code we created earlier. The applicable tax rate will be shown as per the selling price. Fill all other details that are relevant to your product. Attributes are the characteristics of the product. It helps your customer know more about the product. Fill as many attributes as possible. If you've already created a similar product having a different color, you may add it as a variant of this product. Use this to deactivate or activate the product. Use this to publish the product on a future date and time. We have this customs information. Tick this option, if you don't want to sell this product independently, and want it to be sold as a dependent with some other product. Use this option to set the minimum and maximum quantity that customers can add to their cart.
If it takes time to manufacture a product, mention it here. Specify the time period, within which, customers can return the product. Enter the details of the trader. If you have created a bundle to sell with this product, attach it from the dropdown. And if you have created a size guide for this product, select it from the dropdown. There's an option to preview the product. Save the product details. Congratulations, you've successfully created a product. In the next video, you'll learn the process of adding an inventory of the product.